We have 28 degrees here in Dayton right now, but back in St. Louis at 34. Our first warning radar is calling this rain, but because the road surface and if you've been with us since we started the show, we have 19.5 degrees on Byers Road right now. This is all going to instantly freeze as it hits the ground. What's happening in the Miami Valley at the moment locally is just a light, a few light snow showers. So let's zoom into a couple spots seeing those flakes. We're seeing that from Phillipsburg down to Brookville, New Lebanon, maybe Farmersville just north of town and one or two in Miamisburg. I saw a couple of those out there, but Eaton, we're starting to see that pink show up. I'm not entirely convinced that this is freezing rain just yet, but if you live in Preble County, let me know. You can find me on Facebook, Mike Joyce or Twitter at Mike Fox 45. Now up to the north along 75, some flurries. This isn't what I'm concerned about just yet, but it's what's coming behind it. The rain showing up on the radar that's going to freeze as it makes contact with the road. Here's our Kettering Health Network Skycam in Miamisburg near the Dayton Mall looking north on 75. No traffic trouble at the moment, but that will be entirely different by the morning. We already have 33 in Troy, 33 in Dayton. So what that means is that we are now above freezing for the first time since December 23rd. Absolutely incredible. We're at the freezing mark in Salina and Wapakoneta. So this has been an incredible stretch. It's the first 20 degree plus day since Christmas Day and the longest stretch that we've ever had that we've been below 20 degrees in Dayton history again since Christmas Day and that was two weeks ago tomorrow and we've been, been below 32 since Christmas Eve Eve on December 23rd. So here's our morning commute. This is where it's going to get very messy. Let's advance till 3 a.m. for those who are getting out very early in the morning. The pink and purple in the map indicates that freezing rain, the mixed precipitation, maybe even a few wet snowflakes mixed in, but those wet snowflakes will turn into that ice glaze as well. Let's look ahead to about four o'clock. We're starting to see a few snow showers working back in north of US 36. Still looking at a freezing rain scenario down closer to Dayton and Troy and Greenville, even Springfield. Here's seven o'clock, but then those north of US 36 will still have that glaze under any snow that drops on the ground. So really we're not looking at any relief no matter where you live in the Miami Valley. We start to see it break up around 10 o'clock in the morning. So the entire morning commute looking quite nasty with this moving in and then ahead into the afternoon is when we start to see some improvement. So on the way home tomorrow, we're going to be in better shape. A winter weather advisory issued by the National Weather Service that starts at midnight for all of us across the state of Ohio. And if you watch us in the morning, Greg Bobus built this graphic a couple months ago. We've never had to use the red light on our traffic or on our traffic light yet, but tomorrow is the first time a wintry mix for the first time in 2018, icy and snowy roads, but that'll turn into a yellow light on the way home. Just a few slick spots untreated rural and residential spots still could be a little bit slick, but once we get temperatures in the mid 30s, that should help get those roads in better shape. Here's a visual representation of Monday. Temperatures pretty steady, but th this again, 6 a.m. till about noon, flurries start tapering off, and then we're in better shape for the rest of the day. Our seven day forecast looking much, much better on Tuesday, 38, partly cloudy, but look what happens on Wednesday, 47, and then 58 degrees on Thursday. We got there on December 22nd, right before Christmas. We're finally going to feel that warmth again nearly three weeks later. Friday and Saturday will be interesting. A cold front coming through Friday night could result in some snow accumulation on Saturday, but a couple factors here. When do we drop below 32 and will enough moisture wrap around behind the cold front? Still, though, we could see some accumulation. Pay attention to Saturday as we go throughout the week, but Sunday looking very cold 21 and partly cloudy.